And so welcome back once again. We're going to be jumping back into Lost Ember, playing chapter 4 today. Last time we played with with Kalani, we discovered a little more about Wayla, and we discovered the funeral grounds of the, of the tribe and the tension going on between Kalani and her father. Going into chapter 4, we discovered what we believe is the lost city and we discovered this symbol for the game, Lost Ember. It's that like little circle with a triangle that you can probably see in the game on the logo, etc. So we're going to jump back into chapter 4. Last time we had the calm before the storm and we got swept up quite a bit as I believe the fish and as our hummingbird. We just totally lost control of our game. So I'd be interested to see if that happens again or if we get any new spirits to possess this round. So let's jump back in. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, whatever you need to do. Let me know if you're enjoying this and let's get back in. Okay. Close to the sun, that was our name of the chapter. So, let's see, I believe that symbol was on the top of a building somewhere that we found. There it is, there's that symbol that we were talking about, that circle, that little circle with the triangle, which is gonna be, I don't know if that's the city, the city symbol, or if that's the symbol for the city of light. All right, so let's double check what our task is here. Have you seen this huge pillar? That looks like something. Let's find a way to the top. Alright, so we are working our way up to the top. It's a floating rock over here. Interesting. Every time we find a tunnel, it's always blocked off. So let's check this out. Can't go that way. Out this little lookout tower. There's a mushroom. We'll go in there in a minute. Whoops. We got some water. Some fish, so we have some potentials for possession. Get over the wall. So there's some stuff in here. It looks like the wall goes all the way around. We could probably go in that door over there, so let's see what's over here first. water. So I'm thinking that door that we saw is going to lead over here. So let's go back. Alrighty. If I can remember how to go down. There we go.
This is how I always get lost. I find these little, they need to put a map or something in our inventory. Some more coral. This is probably the most coral or mushrooms that we've found in a row. Oh. plate that'd be filled with delicious treats for big celebrations when there's still abundant when there was a still an abundance of food I'm trying to keep us underwater here so we can see what we're doing and where to go so I don't think we can go this way as the fish we can get out as the wolf I want to keep our fish friend for a little bit This where come on. Not what I meant to do. Come on. I don't think this is where we started. We have a waterfall, some stairs. I'm not sure if this is where we started or not. thrown out of the out of the lake here. Come on. There you go. So we have some smoke over there, but it, it's not the red smoke. It's white smoke. So let's see here. I think there's a little bit of a current here. I think that's why we're struggling. So now it's red, and I have no idea where we are. Were these the supplies you stole? You were giving it to the poorest of the poor. So we had talked about last time how Wayla, not Wayla. Kalani's kind of got that Robin Hood little vibe going on. Tower over here. So we're probably going to need to go back down and be the fish again. Find a wombat or a armadillo. We need to come back in here. Why 
is he growing? I can't, I need, I need the option to possess. quite sure where our little friend is. I don't know if we've crossed through the barrier. No, we haven't crossed through the barrier because he still has his white mark. So all our little friends are through that door. And I think this is where we just were. Yes, and we went straight. So let's turn around. What I meant to do. <laughs> no, don't jump off. Let's try again. Not doing too good. There's probably a much easier way to get over there, but... So we have memory down here with the fish. We need to go see... But we'll check out this guy. Chakui Raimi. I remember. It was a huge feast and celebration. The music and dance would go on through the whole night. Traces. So we have a memory within a memory. Wait, wait. I guess not everybody was celebrating. I don't remember ever seeing this side of the festival. People begging for food while the rest of us feast. It's not fair.
can't swim straight. You were planning something. Something secret by the looks of it. Oh, we got a grappling hook. That's been used for climbing. What were you planning to climb? for us. I found a mortar. The ground wheat or dried fruit. Can we find the... What is that? A mortar and is it a pestle? Well, I don't know what it's called. So we're back over here. Alright. Hey look, we got our little mole friend. Question is, can we find a bat building thing? Take him away from the area we found him. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so that's the building. And there's more little guys over there, so I'm gonna let go of him. Like super slow. What do you do with the worm? Well, we were curious if we had some new little creatures. There we go. We're gonna turn into him. Speed. So why is he glowing? A legendary armadillo. There's six legendary animals. Okay. This legendary, for some un unknown reason, likes the proximity of hummingbirds and doesn't stray too far from where they live. 
Okay. So is this all about him? Huh. Okay. Interesting. Well, now we're glowing. Now let's go check out this relic over here. And he moves differently. Or are we in slow motion? Oh yeah, we are in slow motion. No, 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 no. Let's stay with the glowy guy. If I can, I don't know if I can. There we go. Amulet enrichment. Well, the amulet itself had a person's name on it. The clip, clip-ons represent status. It's fa this one's fairly simple, so it probably means it didn't belong to anyone higher up. Okay. Looks like we can't do much else. Let's go to the surface. Where are we? Oh, can he not come to the surface? There he is. Just a little glitch. Say hello, puppers. Say hello. We got our pupperinos in here watching with us. So we're just going to continue on up. I believe we're still trying to get to that pillar with this symbol. good with mushrooms this episode. Keeping wild animals in cages like that seems cruel. Mm. 
Looks like you were thinking the same. Quite massive chains used to detain wolves between shows. Looks very similar to the modern day pinch collar. Not a whole lot up here. So let's see what this shows. What are you doing? If someone would have seen you, this was our holy temple. Climbing the temple, setting animals free, climbing temples, robbing, feeding the poor. What does she do? The Yawar Arena. The strongest of the Yanrana would fight against wild beasts. If they survived, they were allowed to join the Sinchi Guard. Wild beasts. I remember watching the fights in here. It was truly spectacular, I can tell you. The winner of the traditional wolf against man battles was awarded in a gl glamorous ceremony. Does that have anything to do with why we're a wolf now? Let's go back, actually. Let's go check out that tunnel. I feel like I hear bats. Muzzle. Muzzle for wolves to protect the hunters maintaining the arena. It looks like we're going to need his help. Prize. 
Soldiers you. Soldiers used to fight the wolves and other wild animals in the arenas barehanded. This trophy was given to whoever was the last one standing. But this looks interesting. This was our sanctuary. The golden sun behind the Temple of Light. Oh, double, double wolves. It depicts the natural order of the world. Humankind lifted to the sky by animals and nature, kneeling only before their great temple. Isn't it magnificent? I remember engraving this into my turpoy dagger as a boy. How I cherish that dagger. Hmm. So all the animal skulls. They're saying that the animals are beneath the humans who only bow to the temple, it seems. Let's check this out. They're like in a... There's like different skulls. There's like a ape, a cow, a giant bull. I'm assuming like a sheep or something down at the bottom. So let's check this out. Avidos. He was the one who laid the foundation of Kilotazi killed by his adversaries in the process. Can you tell us who all these statues are? Maybe. Here we go. Karpak. He was the strongest Yamrana who ever lived. No one had ever beaten him in a fight. No one but a terrible plague that killed half of the Yamranan population at the time. Handcrafted gold coins. Some of the wealthier Yan Rana would allow their children to carve their own symbol into these coins, resembling the sanctuary plate for good luck and fortune. I don't think we can go that way. Well, maybe we could have. She made Kilotazi what it was back then. The most magnificent city in all the world. She built this temple and gathered gold and other treasures from all around the world. I think we've got one more. Chantai. She was the one who brought together all Yanran tribes to one people. She was worshipped by many and feared by even more. These four were the greatest emperors that ever lived. Without them, none of this would have been possible. So why did we overthrow them?
And you were caught. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. 